¿Qué tal? Yo me llamo señor Bellas y en este video voy a, hablar, voy a hablar de los mandatos. We are going to take a look at commands in Spanish, specifically how to form an usted command and an ustedes command. So these are commands that you would use for uh, your teacher or parent, uh, for an adult you don't know, or for multiple people. Uh, so to form these commands, I'm going to give you um, several different examples and I'll give you a really short quiz at the end and uh, hopefully you'll get it by the end. Before we start, I'm going to tell you that when you're doing an usted or ustedes commands, you're going to want to think opposites. And what I mean by that is normally an ER and IR verb in Spanish have similar endings and an AR verb has its endings. What I mean by opposites is you're going to want to think about the endings for commands for ER and IR verbs to be like AR verbs and for the ending for the commands for an AR verb to be like an ER or an IR verb. And if you don't understand what I'm saying, you will in just a second. So first, um, I'm going to give you a command for three regular verbs. And uh, the, ver the first one is hablar. So if I want to give a new stead command for hablar, I want to tell someone to speak. I would say hable. Careful with your pronunciation of this because hable, speak, is different than hable, which is I spoke in the preterite. And then for the ustedes commands, you just have to add an end to it. So if I'm telling multiple, multiple people to speak, I would say hablen. Notice that the ending is an e, kind of, like an, kind of an opposite of an, of an ar verb. Now for, we'll do comer. Comer, an er verb, means to eat. So if I want to tell someone to eat, an usted to eat, I would say coma. Coma. And then if it's for ustedes, for multiple people, I'd say coma. And vivir, an ir verb, again, thinking opposites, the usted command for vivir would be viva. So live. Viva. And then the, um, a for, there are multiple people, ustedes command would be vivan. And if you want to tell someone to not do one of these things, just stick a no in front of it. So don't speak, no hable, don't eat, no coma, don't live, uh, no viva, for example. And then add an end to any of those to make it an ustedes command. A while ago, you guys learned something that I would call cargarzar verbs in Spanish. These were verbs that had a weird change to them in the yo form and the preterite. Um, there's going to be a similar change to those in these commands as well. And um, I'll give you one of each so you see it. First, look at a car verb, and that verb will be uh, tocar. Now, for in the usted command, tocar is an AR verb, so thinking opposites, you're going to think e. So if you didn't know this irregularity with it, you would probably think it would be t-o-c-e. That doesn't work, because if you put it like that, it would be pronounced tose, and tocar has that k sound in it, so to maintain that sound in tocar, I'm going to change the C to QU. So the usted command for tocar would be toque, and then token for ustedes. So it would be like saying, play the, play the guitar or something. Toque la guitarra. Um, for the uh, gar zerb, verb, we'll look at pagar. Pagar means to pay. It's also an AR verb. Um, so normally you would think it would be P-A-G-E, but that doesn't work because that would be pronounced paje in Spanish. So I want to maintain the g sound. So the usted command for pagar would be pague. P-A-G-U-E. And again, pronunciation is important because if I said pagé, that would be the preterite yo form of pagar. So pagé or pagan, depending on who you're telling to uh, pay for something. And then the last one um, would be casar. Uh, casar means to hunt. Um, this one phonetically doesn't make much of a difference, but um, when you're doing a Z-A-R verb in the usted or usted is commands, you're going to change the Z to a C. So casé or casen uh, for uh, hunt something. Um, for we got more going on here, more irregularities. Boot verbs. Um, you're going to want to keep that boot change um, in the uh, command form. Try and think of the yo form first when you're doing a lot of these commands. It will help you out in the long run. I'll, you'll see why when I get to some other irregular ones here. So pensar, uh, an AR verb, also a boot verb where the E changes to IE. So if you want to tell someone to think, um, think opposites, first of all. AR verb, so it's going to go to an E. The usted command for pensar would be piense, piense, and then piensen for an usted as command. Uh, jugar. There's two things going on with jugar. It's a boot verb where the U changes to UE, and then it's also a gar verb, like the car gars are. So there's two things that have to happen here. The, o, the U will change to UE, and then also you're going to add the U in after the G to maintain the G sound. So the usted command would be juegue, and the usted as command would be jueguen. Juegue, juegen. So that's like saying play soccer. Um, pedir. Pedir is an IR verb. It's also a boot verb where the E changes to I. So if I wanted to say order something to an usted, I would say pida. Or if I wanted to say order to multiple people, pidan. Uh, preferir, a uh, boot verb also. Uh, it's kind of weird to give a command of prefer, but just to show it to you. Um, again, we're thinking opposite. So preferir, an IR verb opposite would be an A. 
but it's also a boot verb. That second E is going to change to an IE. So the command for usted for preferir would be prefiera, and then usted would be prefieran. Then we look at some uh, irregular ones. Um, these ones, they're not too, some of them aren't too irregular, but they're just a little bit off, so I'm going to give them to you right now. The command for dar for usted would be de, notice the X mark over the E, and then the usted would be den. Estar command would be este or esten. Uh, ir is kind of irregular, it goes to vaya or vayan, so go somewhere, vaya a la oficina, go to the office, for example. Uh, saber, it kind of has a little bit of the predator going on there with the P, but it's going to be sepa or sepan, sepa la información, know the information, for example. And then ser, the command for ser would be seya or seyan for usted or ustedes. Those ones are just kind of irregular, memorize them. And then there's a few more. Um, for these next ones, again, think about the yo form of these verbs in the present tense first, and it'll make it easier for you to form the usted or ustedes command. So the first verb will be um, salir. Salir means to leave or go out. What's the yo form of salir in the present tense? It's salgo. So think about the salgo. Also think about the fact that it's an IR verb. The usted command is going to be salga, and the ustedes command will be salgan. Uh, traer, if you can remember the yo form of traer, it goes to traigo. Traer is an ER verb. Going opposite from an ER verb would be an A, so the usted command would be traiga, and then traigan for the ustedes command. Um, tener, the yo form of tener, tengo, the command would be tenga, tengan. Um, hacer, yo form is ago, so if you should probably seeing a pattern now, the command for hacer would be aga or agan. So, do the homework, for example, haga la tarea, or your teacher might tell you in your class, haga la tarea, por favor, do the homework, please. So again, think about the opposites when you're doing usted or status commands, and then um, just give it a new ending. Also think about the yo form of the verb, because sometimes you have a, a strange yo form that keeps that, the go, the, the g in it, like salgo, trago, vengo, tengo, uh, it keeps that in there, and then it, you add the ending to it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put up um, several verbs on the screen, um, and just try and jot down, pause it once it comes up, jot down the uh, correct uh, usted command of the verb on the screen. When we come back, I'll put them up for you, see if you get it right. I'll have, um, well, we'll just start with that. So um, once you see the screen, pause it, jot it down, and then hit play. Here it comes. Okay, so now that you've seen, you've had a chance to write down your answers, uh, the usted command for caminar would be camine. Camine, and then if it was usted, it would be caminen. Uh, comenzar, the command for that would be comience, comience. Uh, it's a boo verb, e -E, and it's a Z-A-R verb, a Z-A-R verb, so the Z changes to C. Comience. Jugar, give it to you a minute ago, but it was juegue, juegue. Mostrar, um, if you didn't remember, is a boot verb. The O changes to a U-E, so the usted command would be muestre, muestre. Um, the command for venir would be venga, venga. Conocer um, is a tricky one. I kind of threw it in there to see if you could catch it. The yo form of conocer in the present tense is conosco. It's going to keep that ZC in the command. So the usted command would be conosca or conoscan for who said this. Hacer goes to haga. Poner would be ponga. Um, and that was it. So really when you're doing usted commands, think opposites. Um, and then the ustedes command, you just stick the N on the end of the usted command, you have the ustedes command. If you want to say don't do something, put a no in front of the command. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to have several videos on commands probably because you're also, I'm also going to teach you these commands with pronouns, um, probably with multiple pronouns. I'll also teach you two commands, uh, negative two commands, two commands with pronouns. So there's going to be probably several videos in the, in the end on commands. This will be the first one, so if you're waiting for more, just be patient. I'll, I'm working on them right now. If you have questions or you want more practice or uh, requests, let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can take care of that. Thanks.